Yeah, on-road criminology is, for people that don't know, on-road, urban, in a city. Uh, the term on-road is because when I talk to people in the community, uh, they use the term on-road, and I felt that the community should be uh, part of the way that we brand what it is that we do. Um, on-road crimino criminology is the way that we deal with spontaneous events and acts that happen on the spot where somebody like me as a criminologist has to make sense. A couple of examples would be, I was in a laundrette, um, a man comes in, he began to open a conversation with me about his life. Uh, this is a guy that was involved in a range of activity, but he suddenly revealed that he'd been through some stuff in his life that had led to a certain type of behaviour. And in the conversation that lasted about an hour, it helped him understand the context of not just what happened, but how he ended up where he was. As a consequence of that conversation, he then decided that he wanted to change something about his life. He needed to go and talk to somebody to go and confront this issue that had been troubling him for a long time because he felt that he didn't want to get involved in badness or run-ins. He was a victim of circumstances and we discussed those circumstances. So that's one example. Another example was I was shopping one day. I was going to a well-known supermarket. And as I'm going in, I heard two guys, a black guy and a white guy, and the black guy shouted up and said, yo, Martin, can I talk to you? As the guy came up to me, he said, Martin, I remember you. I heard you speak to a bag of youths on the street and I happened to be there. He says, I want to introduce you to my brethren. He says, but my brethren, it looks like, you know, he's straying off the path. It looks like he kind of don't understand what he's getting involved in. And I said, look, I know you're a man at Augusta University and I know you worked in prisons and I know... And he just went on like this. He says, look, I can't speak to this guy. Can you talk to him? So in some respects, my conversation about prison, crime, it was a motivating factor that helped these two guys to actually remain friends because obviously the relationship was being strained because this youth would not listen to his brethren. But when I came along and explained it, it meant that for this youth, he said, you know something, why, you got a point. So what you realised is, I was practising criminology that I would do in the classroom in spontaneous ways in areas of the community that are outside of the classroom. In one case, it was a laundrette, and in another case, it was a car park. It could be a barbershop, it could be a dumpling shop. What that does, it connects me as an academic, me as a, an applied practitioner, straight into the heart of the community. I'm no less academic, but I'm available to apply some understanding. And it's exactly the same as a medical doctor. If you had a heart attack and somebody says, is there a doctor in the house? Somebody who's a medical doctor could massage your heart there and then on the spot. I'm saying as a doctor who's a doctor of philosophy, uh, PhD, I'm applying a social remedy at that particular moment in time, much the same as a medical doctor. And what that does, it recognises the responsibility that I have to do that. And in some respects, when these people listen to me, you can then signpost them, because you could say to a guy, brethren, you need therapy. Brethren, you need to go to do this. So in essence, on-road criminology just brings criminologists into the community to provide on-the-spot solutions.